Hi, Mass Barnka from Kaiser Power Electronics here. It's time to build a power supply for the induction heater. And um, to do this cheaply, there is a couple of ways to, we can do this. So let's take a look at the alternatives. The nice and robust old school way of powering uh, a thing like a uh, Maselli ZVS induction heater is using a good iron core transformer. Here it's a 25 volt, 25 ampere um, transformer. This weighs a good 10 kilogram, I would say. Uh, and I would most likely need two of these in parallel just to get my uh, rated current. So that's big and bulky, but it's also getting rare nowadays. You don't find big transformers like this uh, anymore. But there are alternatives, like service power supplies. Now these are uh, pretty high power uh, for their uh, size. Weighs maybe half a kilo. And as we can see here, it's rated for 12 volts at 62 ampere. So what you can do is uh, hack these um, from uh, starting them up and then put some of these in series, but that will wait for another day. Because what I want to do is present a cheaper alternative, and that is old laptop power supplies. So let's uh, take a look at what we can do with these. What I want to do is use a old laptop power supply. So you say, okay, that's not powerful enough. Well, this is a 20 volt, 8.5 ampere, 170 watt power supply. So 20 volt is too low. But if we take two of these and put them in series, we, we can do that without breaking the insulation um, resistance on these. Or we just have to make sure not to use the uh, grounded mains uh, pin anymore because the uh, negative um, uh, supply rail uh, on these adapters are tied to the ground. So we'll, ha we'll have to use these uh, as floating supplies. So th that will give us 2 times 20 volt. So 40 volt at 8.5 ampere, 340 watt. Now that's still pretty far from 1800 watt and we would also like a little headroom. So not to run these uh, too hard, so they will just, yeah, crap out on me. So let's just say we take 6 times 40 volt in the parallel, that is. So that would give us 2040 watt, which is 51 ampere. So this should give us enough headroom to run this uh, heater. And uh, let's just see what I have down here. Ah uh, yeah, here's a few more uh, supplies. But that's only four. I, I need more, 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 more. Where, where do I have more? Over here. Yeah, okay, that's more here. Okay, that's four more. But, mm, wait a minute. Um, yeah, here we have them. The last four. So, this little happy bunch, that's what's going to power this heater. The power supply is coming good along here, as you can see. I have um, connected all the uh, main supply leads. Uh, there's uh, six in each bunch, uh, so I will connect this to two uh, main outlets. Not that it can't be uh, connected to just one, but this is just for practicality, because it's a little, a little too much to put 12 of these together. Now I'm connecting the uh, power supplies like this, um, two in series, just with a bit of wire for making it easier for me to um, have a capacitor in the middle. I have maintained a even length uh, of wire, um, so uh, I can connect up to a uh, DC, uh, DC capacitor from all these uh, between the heater and, uh, and the power supplies. And then I just need to put the rest of the mountain of power supplies here together and it's ready to fire up. And here it is, the new concept MMLP, Multi Miniature Laptop Power Supply. Look at this beast. It is massive. It is time for a load test. 
I got my oscilloscope hooked up here with a differential probe. We can see there is 41 volts drawing zero amps on the analog meter. And there is the uh, digital meter, a bit off uh, the zero, but never mind about that. So uh, let's uh, give this a load to, uh, to feed from. Let's see, with drawing a good small 5 ampere, yeah, that corresponds to the uh, offset. So let's present it a bit more load here. As we can see, the current is uh, rising up now. The voltage starts dropping a bit, drawing a fair bit of current now. 30 amps. Okay, so the analog meter is uh, a bit off. Okay, sounds like the uh, power supplies are possibly current limiting themselves. But there's not much sagging to see. They're handling it really well that way. So drawing 40 amps now. So yeah, the analog meter is not doing that well. But as we see, we're probably up around the 45 uh, amps now. So yes, as the load changes, the current draw drops. But overall, they do pretty well. So I say these are ready for a uh, induction heater test. I must say they did pretty damn well. So that handles pretty good for just being a bunch of old uh, laptop power supplies. So if you happen to get through a crate of these, suddenly pick them up, slap them together and you have yourself a nice 2 kilowatt power supply. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for part 3.